Hey guys, this is Chris, and we're gonna spend a little time winterizing this trailer. We're gonna do the real simple method. We're just gonna use air pressure to blow the water out of the lines. You wanna start with an air fitting on your city water connection. The first thing we're gonna hit is the low point drains down here by the fresh tank drain. All you've gotta do is open the valves long enough to push the water out. That's good for that one. We'll do this one next. And once they start to hiss and spit, that's usually good enough. The next thing we'll do is the galley sink. You want to make sure you're doing the hot and the cold side. Now I'm going to shut the valves initially, but when we work our way back out of the trailer, I'm going to start leaving them open. Into the bathroom here, same thing on the sink, hot and cold. I'll leave the sink valve open when I step on the toilet so I don't get splashed. And then we're going to do the shower. I'll typically take the shower head and set it down here on the drain itself. You want to make sure you do the cold. And then the hot. Now at this point, I'm going to leave that valve open. I'm going to come back into the bathroom. I'm going to hit the low point drain that's under the galley sink here. We'll leave that open. And then we're going to open the sink, work our way out. Same thing with the galley sink. This is just to make sure that we're getting all of the water out of the unit. We'll finish up outside with the water heater. Just want to hit the little valve on the water heater to clear the water out of it. That's basically it. Folks, that's just a real simple, quick way to winterize using air pressure to push the water out. Guys, I've shown you how to winterize it real easily by pushing the water out with air pressure. Now we're going to get a little more involved and fill the lines with a non-toxic coolant. This is something you would do if it's going to get colder than it normally does down here in the south or if you folks live in the north. Located under the wardrobe is a clear tube that we could dunk into a bottle of non-toxic coolant. Follow that clear tube back until it meets the hard line and turn the valve. All right, so we're going to step into the shower. We're going to start with the cold side. We're just going to flow it until it turns pink. And down here at the drain. There you go, we got some pink. Now we're going to move to the hot side. You'll see it turn clear for a second. There it goes, and then it'll start pushing pink again. All right, that's good enough. Now we're going to shut that. We're going to move into the bathroom. We're going to start with the sink. Remember, hot and cold. So pink already. Over here on the hot side. And that'll be good enough. Then we'll open the toilet up. Step on the valve here. And that's good enough. Leave a little bit of that coolant on the bottom of the toilet there. We're going to open the cabinet here and hit the low point drain. Three, maybe four seconds until the water's flowed out of it. Now we're going to move into the galley. And it'll be the same thing. We'll do the hot and the cold side. So we're already pink. Push on the hot side. All right, and from here, we're gonna step outside and we're gonna do the water heater valve. All right, now we wanna hit the valve on the water heater. All you've gotta do is open it for just a second to make sure that there is coolant in that little valve. That's it. All right, now to winterize the outside shower, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna disconnect the wand. We're gonna open the valves and let a little pink come through. And then I'll leave the wand disconnected and I'll just stow it right back inside like this. Pretty simple. Folks, most of the valves on the 25 and the 27 foot trailers are gonna look like these brass ones with the red handles. On other trailers, you're gonna look underneath the unit for a protruding red and white pipe. Those are going to protrude right through the floor, and then the valves for those will actually be located inside the trailer. 
you're going to look for a couple of white valves sitting on those red and white pipes. Once you come inside, you're going to find a couple of white valves right above where you saw those red and white pipes protruding through the floor. They're going to be sitting on those red and white lines, and you're going to parallel those valves with those lines to get them to drain. Typically, these valves can be found underneath the dinette bench, underneath the wardrobe, or maybe underneath the bed. All right, well, now we're going to winterize one of our motor coaches. It's real similar to what you did on the trailer. You're going to connect to the city water connection. You will have to create your own little tube, and you want to dunk that into a bottle of non-toxic coolant. You want to turn the valve here to where it says winterize sanitize so that way when you go inside and turn on the water pump it's going to pull out of this bottle instead of pulling out of the fresh tank so now we'll go inside and we'll turn on the water pump all right so from here we'll turn on the water pump we're going to start here in the galley and just like on the trailers we're going to run it until it goes pink on the hot and cold side all right there goes pink we'll switch over to the other side All right, we've got pink coming out there. We'll step into the bathroom. Same thing, we're to do the cold. Pink, and then we'll turn into the hot. All right, we're beginning to see it turn pink, so we're good here. We're gonna shut that one, we're gonna do the toilet next. All right, we've got it going pink there, so that'll be good enough. And then we're going to step into the back, and we're going to hit the low point drains. They're going to be under the cup holder on the curb side of the unit. Reach in here. All right, then from here, we're going to step back outside, and we're going to put coolant in the macerator through the waste tanks. All right, now we're back outside, and we want to make sure we run some of that coolant through the macerator pump. We're going to do that through the gray tank. You want to do that last so that there is actually coolant in that gray tank to run through here. So we'll open the valve, and we'll turn on the pump, and we'll just run it until it goes pink in the tube. And there it goes. And that's going to be basically it. We'll shut the valve, and you're done. All right, folks, thanks for your time. Make sure you check out our channel for more educational Airstream videos. We'll see you down the road.